tell me a little bit about the Coaching Parent book. How did it start? Well, we devised originally a pack of 45 playing cards that the parent could use with the child. And then uh, we thought, well, newer technology. We put it onto a PC, we animated it, still the same cards. And we were running workshops at the time, and the parents kept saying, you guys should write a book. And it sort of went from there. So, so Jack, what's in the book? Well, we found by working with parents and from our own experience, um, all kids need to believe in themselves, have confidence. They need to be able to get on with others' rapport. It helps if they can uh, improve the speed at which they learn and the amount they retain. So it's about learning. And dealing with stress, we call it optimising stress, because our stress is natural. And then we also have a section on we call jokers, uh, true life stories, collective wisdom. And the thing that brings it all together and makes it happen is coaching, of course. Great. I mean, I think practical solutions are very important for people. Mm. So I've got a few questions that came in. First question was, how can coaching help my child from being bullied? Well, bullying occurs usually when the, the person being bullied has low self-confidence, self-esteem. So the more the child starts to believe in his or herself, the less likely they are to be bullied. Uh, I've got another one here. My child shows no interest in school or learning of any kind, and any suggestion of coaching is met with a sneer. Now, what, can, <laughs> what can I do about that? Well, this is the whole principle of coaching, because if you, if you talk to your child, every child will already know, I suspect, that if you're a professional footballer, you have a coach. If you're a tennis player, you have a coach. If you're a golfer, you have a coach. Maybe if you're learning to sing. Uh, I have to admit, I have a singing coach. <laughs> so, yes, you might, you might, might well laugh. But the, the, the point about it is, it's becoming normal. So encourage your child that coaching is completely normal and that they can benefit from it. Uh, another one here, this, this parent sounds a bit defeated already. It says, my son doesn't need coaching. In fact, they could coach me. Well, I think uh, I'd like to show, you know, give him my phone number. I mean, wouldn't it be great? What a fantastic thing if, if the son is that confident that he feels he could coach the parent. They could approach it jointly. When we designed the book, we designed it on the basis of the parent actually developing themselves as they use it. So they could tackle it more as a joint project rather than necessarily just the parent taking the lead all the time. Mm. Okay, that, that probably actually leads into here because this, qu this question was... The child responding, you don't understand what I'm being taught at school, so how can you help oh, well. me? Well, you're the expert on this, David. <laughs> That's the great thing about coaching. You don't need to be the expert. I mean, Jack and I, with the different work we do, we're working with people in professions where we don't necessarily know what, what it is that they're doing, but we don't need to know that. It's about eliciting the best out of that individual, about taking that talent and transforming that into what's needed. And that's really the message behind it. This is from a parent with a, a dilemma I think most of us will recognise. I'll find it difficult to discipline my child um, if they see me as their coach. Aren't the two roles in conflict? Well, not at all. I mean, coaching is, is, a, is part of being a parent, the same as discipline is part of being a parent. So it's not a question of conflict, but a question of being the most appropriate response at the time. So no, there, there's been no conflict at all. Mm. And perhaps, perhaps I can just add to that. We do briefly cover discipline yeah. in the book. It's a subject that parents you know, do get concerned about. That's yeah. right. Uh, another one that I think parents will recognise, I suspect, I can't spare the time to yeah. coach. <laughs> I work full time and I have to do the housework and care mm. for my children when I get home. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're in that money-rich, time-poor society, aren't we? The great thing is that coaching can be very efficient. Uh, literally, some of the shortest coaching sessions can last a minute. Some can last a lot longer. And you don't have to be saying to your child, I'm going to do some coaching with you. It can just be part of the natural interaction that you have. Yeah. So it's not as though you're necessarily having to find extra time. It's about how you're actually using that conversational impact with them. And that probably actually leads into this next question, which was, at what age should I begin coaching? Oh. Well, we didn't really know when we began, did we? Yeah, we were thinking about five onwards. But then we had, we had a workshop and this uh, young mother came in and uh, I can't remember, it was a son or a daughter. She, it was a daughter. It was a daughter. Yeah. She was three. So, you know, it's just absolutely wonderful news. So, three upwards. Yeah, and we don't think there's an upper limit. Mm -hmm. So, where next for the coaching parent? Oh, that's a good question, isn't it? It's not for us to say, is it? No, um, I don't think so. Perhaps, um, maybe if I, if I quote, maybe from the book, a uh, testimonial from Paul McGee, who's a best-selling author, as you know, and he's also a parent. 
And Paul says, This book provides the encouragement, inspiration and the practical tools needed to help you tackle the most challenging job on the planet, being a parent. Interesting. David, Jack, thank you very much for your time and I wish you all the best with the book. It certainly has tips and ideas in there that I think will help any parent.